Saigon, April the 30th, 8 o'clock. The last American helicopter on the roof of the American embassy prepares to lift off the last of the evacuees fleeing before the advancing communist armies. Back in the city, normal patterns of behavior broke down. In a climate of every man for himself, American homes, offices, and stores were looted of everything. The discarded equipment even ran to tanks, some damaged, but some also abandoned intact by their crews as they fled before the communists. And then, shortly after midday, came the climax of 30 years of fighting. The first North Vietnamese troops entered the city, packed into trucks that flew the red and blue flag of the Communist Provisional Revolutionary Government, the PRG. Those who failed on that last day to get a place on the helicopters and who had reason to fear the communist takeover made for the only route that still offered a chance of escape, the Saigon River. Hundreds scrambled in panic onto any boats they could reach, not caring how they got aboard or what they left behind. <laughs> 